Welcome to another episode of uh, PSD TV. I'm your host Alex Paul, and today I've got Michael Clance. He's with my FC. They make very small fuel cells. Now that's a very interesting thing. Welcome to the show, though. Thank you. Well, uh, let me say it again, Michael. That's a very interesting thing because I've always known that fuel cells are a very great way to generate electricity. But the biggest issue t that I know of is thermal issues. How have you been handling that? Well, in this system, the fuel cell itself doesn't generate any great heat. It operates well below 50 degrees, around 50 degrees, so that's not the issue with the fuel cell, no. So you're using, I'm, I'm imagining, some proprietary process to control the uh, temperature? Yes, we do. Okay, because otherwise I would say, please elaborate for our audience how you uh, reach that. Well, I wish I could, but I can't exclude that, so. No. Okay, but then at least walk us through the system and how it functions. Sure. Here we have the jack, it's the fuel cell itself. This mm -hmm. part here, that's the charger, it contains mm -hmm. the fuel cell, some electronics. And here we have the power card. This one contains some water, some salts, mixture of chemistry to control the reaction. Mm -hmm. So once it's in the charger, so it generates hydrogen, the hydrogen is converted into electricity, it's pushed out through a USB port, and then water vapor. Excellent. Now, what's the rough power output from the device? This one is rated at 5 volts, 1 amp, so 5 watts. So this will put out five, this will, this will put out a complete USB output. Yes. For the, yes. What's the duration of operation with the card? This specific card here, that's a demo card, runs for about 30 minutes or so, uh, just for the show, to show what it's capable of. And then in the end, it's, this one is also following what the phone or the device needs, so it's a bit load following. So it gives the phone, it's, it's a bit, when the phone needs the power, it will get it up to 5 watts. It doesn't always call for 5 watts, then we slow down the process. So it's a bit, but roughly one and a half to two hours, it's the duration of a full charge, if we look at an iPhone. Got you. Now, you're talking about these cards now. How do you recharge the cards? You don't. This is a one-time use card. So you buy it, you use it, and then you recycle it. So it's, oh, you do recycle it, though? Yes, we do recycle it, yes. Excellent. So basically, it's almost like a battery-oriented packaging, but it's a fuel cell. I would say that it's, that it's an uh, uh, energy package. I wouldn't compare it with a battery. Uh, well. You could compare it with the better, of course, but it's a fuel cell. It's a green technology. It's not lithium ion, and it's a green technology. Right. So, because that was the thing I was wondering about is how the person gets it. But if you're, if you're, these are basically replaceable cartridges, almost like film. You could almost say then you, you know, get it developed as it were, and then you get new ones. Yeah. But we, they're not refillable, so to speak. We take them back and recycle the material that's there. Well, you, re oh, because you completely recycle yes. the material. Yes, we do. So you don't. Due to safety and due to all the regulations that out there, we, we can't refill them. Excellent, got you, got you. Are there any other points about this product line that you'd like to emphasize for our engineering audience? Well, what I would like to show is what we've done here the last few months and what we went out with publicly here. This is an iPhone 7 mm -hmm. where the cell is integrated. This is something we've done ourselves to showcase the technology and show what's available there, or possible, I would say. Uh, so this is a fuel cell fully integrated to the phone. They're fully working. So this fuel cell is hooked up to the phone. This card still a demo card we could it's not yet certified as the rest of the system so this is a demo card we put it on there and this one generates hydrogen and electricity for the phone so this one showcases the fuel cell technology fully integrated into the phone well i must admit i'm very impressed with the form factor and the thermal management well thermal management this is an active system as well in here we have a have a fan for this system this one put out more power than this cell but this is a new cell what we believe is the thinnest most power dense cell in the world. Very nice, very nice. So, um, are you planning on commercializing this technology to larger applications or because of the size and the temperature you're focusing on personal devices? We have been focusing on making the cell and the fuel as small as possible to make it portable and mobile into these kind of devices. The technology itself allows to be scaled up. So, we're looking into different options, different roads, how to, how to process with this. But as I said, we're trying to miniaturizing this as much as possible up to today's state. But there's possibility of scaling it up. Excellent. So, Mike, thank you so much. Do you have any last words for our audience? Welcome to the fuel cell world. <laughs> Thanks. I really appreciate you taking the time today. Thank you. And I'd like to thank all of you out there for taking the time to be with us. We wouldn't be here without you. Tell your friends. This is Alex Paul for Power Systems Design. Have a great day.